Hey, Wally. You go home and check on the worms? Maybe. Maybe. How about you, Moose? You go home and check on the worms? Yeah, we're going to check on the worms. Wally's checking on the neighborhood for us. And we're going to check on the worms. Now, it's been about eight days since they were fed last. And if you guys saw that video, you might have noticed and heard the commentary that there were some with some residual food in it. They generally had uh, plenty of bedding in these. There was food a little bit left over in some of the layers. So with that in mind, I had fed them uh, to a certain extent. And I have my notes on what we fed them. But today is Wednesday. And Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we are going to be out of town. And so the last thing I want to do is put food in here that potentially is going to cultivate gnats and other pests and whatnot. So assuming everything looks okay, I am just going to check on these worms with you guys. And I have some cornmeal that I think we'll sprinkle in, but this is just going to be us checking on the bins, prepping for a vacation and leaving the worms for a few days. You helping me, Moose? Moose. <coughs> oh, Wally. <coughs> Wally, you need to guard that worms, not that house, you silly boy. <laughs> Wally's like, Mom's up front. We must be on guard. All right, so let's get into it. And, and just so you guys know, I do have a few tortillas left um, that we haven't, we haven't uh, put in the bins yet. And so we'll have that on hand if we want to give them a little something. And this is the corn grits that I have done a little bit of research and the internet's and largely the Reddit community seem to think it's good for um, literally grit um, to a certain extent, but also uh, it's good for some, um, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't want to go so far to say aphrodisiac, but apparently it's a big hit with the worms. Now, uh, we have quite a few stacks here. So, I, you know, I've been doing really good starting from the bottom and working our way up. So that's what I'm going to do. So bear with me here, friends. We're going to take these two. And just... Now, this is bin four that... We're just checking on. We're just making sure it's okay. Because bin two is at the bottom, the one that's pretty much done. And there was just a handful, like less than 10 worms, but we're leaving four here so that way any of the worms in two can go up if they want. And if some worms, the next uh, bucket down above it, want to come down, they can. Meanwhile, Moose, are you checking my worms for me? Moose is very interested. I'm sure it smells very good to him. I don't know if you guys can see it. We got a <laughs> neighborhood watch here. These two. Wally's the one who watches. Moose is just learning because he's a puppy. We're trying to teach him not to speak, but, you know, to a certain extent, that's their nature, right? It's their home. So, back to our worm friends. We're going to put... Our worms on. Then we're gonna take this one layer off and check in here. Oh man, watch out, Moose! I gotta put this tear back down. Thank you. Now, what do we have here? So this is tier three, and uh, that's kind of a heck of a worm party, if I say so. I don't know what they're working on, but they're having a great time. Look at them go, you guys! Look at those guys. Hey, worm friends. All right, now let's. Take a minute here and let me look at my notes. So tier three, which is what this is, was fed in the middle, the berries and the apple core last time. Clearly there is plenty of food in terms of bedding in here. I can still see a little tortilla. Obviously they're having a great time. You know, there's a whole worm. Oh my gosh, look at all that. They must've been under the tortilla. Oh man. Well, I don't even want to chip bother them. Like let's let's not bother them. 
what I am gonna do is I think they could do with another little uh, tortilla to continue the party. So we'll call this the after after party. I don't want them to leave. So they can enjoy that. We just give them one little tortilla. And then we'll just, you know, sprinkle a little grits in. You helping me, Moose? Moose is like, Mom, what is this? Yeah, maybe it's grits. You can't eat any of this probably though. Hey, 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 that's not for food for you. It's food for worms. <laughs> you guys, look how tall Moose is now. You remember when he was such a little baby and we did the unboxing? Now, Moose, Moose, now he's tall enough to get into the, what, third bin? Ugh, poor Wally. I know, Moose, I know. You, you QA checking this stuff for the baby worms? Yeah, okay. We gotta, we gotta get going. We're gonna make, okay, thank you. Oof, leave their food alone, you silly goofy. Yeah, he can't help it. <laughs> you lose you guys. I know we don't really share a lot of doggy stuff. But Wally's over here like ready to take out the world and Moose is just like, is there treats? Wally, look at this happy boy. Are you happy to help mom? Wally, we're over here enjoying the worms, and you're yelling at our neighbors. We're very nice people. Okay, guys. Next tip. This lovely tier. And I have, obviously, Moose still here on standby, ready to check on them for me. But the last few times we've opened it up, there has been quite the party of worms. Oop, just like that. Mm, hooping. Oop. All right. Come on, guys. All right, well, there's still quite a bit of worms on the top, so let me just try and scoop them off. Moose is helping me check the top. There's still plenty of worms on here. I just try to make sure the ones on the edges we move, and then we'll move before we put the cover back on because we don't want them to get squished. Right, Moose? Actually, I don't know if he can see. Oh, yeah, you're pretty much tall enough to see the top bin. He's a big boy. Right, Moose? Okay, big fella. So, according to my notes, this tier... This tier, yeah, I'm laughing at you, Wally. This tier, uh, tier one, only got a tortilla last time. And I don't want to disrupt them too much because I do check on them every week. But I don't know if you guys can see, but the tortillas are the, really the only thing that turn obviously green in here. So I'm thinking that's probably what's here. And then this here where there's, you know, almost no tortilla, but clearly a part of tortilla left. So there's a lot of bedding still in here, but this layer is getting quite full. Um, it's the currently the oldest one that we have. So I think at this point, I'm not, I wanna feed them, but I don't. So for me, no alternative we're gonna put in here is just a little sprinkling of grits. Yeah, you know, just a little bit of grits. So we're gonna spread in here, so it'll break down eventually. I'm not worried about it. And that's that. That's all I'm doing to prepare for a trip. I'll be at a short trip because, you know, COVID, we're not trying to go anywhere for a long time. But moisture levels seem all right. We have plenty of existing bedding food in there for them. Uh, they're, they're, we're gonna cut, keep them covered and make sure they don't have any predators sneaking in on them, slash the bin. Everything can, oops. Everything's able to seal up pretty well. Um, this guy going. It's looking so good. Uh, I, and that's all I'm doing. Everything looks okay right now and is sustainable where it's at. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? So these guys are going to be here uh, on their own. And truthfully, even if I wasn't, it's not like they're missing a feeding because I usually feed them on uh, Tuesdays or Wednesdays depending on, you know, how we're doing. So they're gonna stay nice and comfy in here. We're leaving the air at a reasonable temperature for them and in the house in general, cause you know, Florida, but they're gonna be okay. And so I think if you guys are going on vacation and you're not sure what to do, just look at your bins. And even if you can't see a lot of food, remember they're not eating the food, they're eating the bacteria and the mold that the food produces. So 
you might not see it, but there's probably food there. The bedding, assuming you're using coconut core, shredded newspaper, cardboard, whatever, that's all food as well to them. So there's a good chance that you could leave these. And there's and there's plenty of stories of people, on, especially on Reddit, which is a great community. If you're not involved, you should you should definitely consider checking them out for just information sourcing. Um, but where are we going with this? There's plenty of people that say, I leave my bins for two, three, four weeks, sometimes a month or two. And they're fine. You know, they could, I mean, sure, sometimes they need a little bit more food, depending on their population ratios, but they are okay. These are not high maintenance, um, well, pets, if you will, because let's be honest, they're, they're pretty much a pet. So, when you're getting ready to go on vacation, check for moisture levels, existing bedding, make sure they have plenty of bedding in there so that even if there isn't any food, they can eat the bedding, which is also food for them. Don't overfeed... I've seen people that go ahead and put massive uh, overfeeding uh, buffets essentially out for them. And maybe that works for them. And maybe they have a really big population that would consume it. And it's that nice juicy strawberries and berries and watermelon rinds that they just go crazy over. And maybe that works and maybe it's good for some people. My hesitation is I've already had to deal with gnats once. It was only one time, but it was enough to make me be cautious in the future. And so the last thing I want to do when I come home from being out of town is to come home to a swarm of gnats. And so that's why we're going to let them just keep working on what they have. And honestly, tier one, like I said, you guys, it's the oldest tier that's in here. And it's the end of the, it's the end of March now. You know, we're a couple days out from the end of March when I'm recording this. It's about time to start letting it start starving itself anyways. So it's okay. It's all fine. All right, guys, we'll check back in with you probably again in about a week or so and see how they do when we come back from vacation.